sprinkles so as a highly requested video I'm gonna do a travel series and I'm gonna show you what I actually bring with me when I travel and what I suggest that you should bring with you when you travel this first video is about makeup so here it is this is what I brought with me this last um, holiday as you know, I've been to Maldives, and this is what I brought with me when I went there. So I actually bought this little, how can I say, beauty case um, in Danube. It's a supermarket. I think it's an American um, chain. And they were selling this for not not so much. I don't remember now, actually, the price. But it's, um, how can I say, it came with, but just to show you, it came inside this. As you can see, I'm using it for other purpose. And there was this and two other small beauty cases. Actually, the skincare beauty case is another one of them. Basically, I think they are the big one, this one, the medium one, and two small ones. So, you'll see what I mean. And uh, let's open it. As you can see, I haven't actually opened it since I was traveling. I've also been sick. In fact, there is still the vanity kit that I got from the hotel. Okay. So what's inside? So the only palette that I brought with me is this one over here, the Rose Gilded palette. And as you can see, uh, it's very versatile. You can go from a brown smoky eye, everyday brown, rose, orange. You have a black that you can use as an eyeliner. You have this green, a shimmer, different shimmers that you can use as highlighters and as uh, glam makeup for glam makeup looks. So it's really, really a good palette. Plus, I really love it. It's my go-to and I could not go without it of course so this is a really winning palette unfortunately it's um it was a limited edition and I think it only came out in the Middle East but Mac do it again because it's lovely okay so as I was saying also as you can see how it fits in my hand and how it fits inside the little case over here perfect right perfect for traveling so now let's go forward um, according to face area and face purpose I decided not to bring with me any foundation uh, why because uh, Maldives was uh, is actually a humid place and very hot so we're talking about like around 30 degrees and humidity oh I don't know how much humidity there was but there was a lot like as you if you have been following me you could see uh, you have seen how my hair was like all curly and all going all over the place. So, as you know, it's difficult uh, or you have very sticky foundation. What I mean is like very, um, it's a foundation that doesn't move, that's very heavy. And I mean, I was going on vacation on holiday and I didn't want anything sticky or highly coverage and cakey. Okay, so I decided just to bring one product with me and it's this uh, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizing and Illuminating Natural Skin Perfector. It's a primer. You can wear it also with the foundation but you can wear it also alone. It's really lovely. I mean it's very sticky so it actually acts as a primer to grab the product but I have to say that I really like it. As you can I'm actually wearing it today so as you can see it's very natural i'm just wearing this uh concealer a little bit of lipstick of blush uh, i'm not wearing lipstick anymore and just something on the eyes a little and mascara so and brow mascara as well this is the all natural go-to of the day so just to, i mean you can see it's very natural it doesn't cover but it does give you that glow so I really like it and I decided to go with this only then of course concealer my go-to favorite concealer is the tip um, cover perfector sorry cover perfection tip concealer the sign and as you know it's a Korean brand I love this I cannot stop raving about it I love it I love it I love it and I want this to be available ah, here in the Middle East or in Europe or wherever please the same come to us with this because I love it it doesn't cost a lot it does its uh, work it covers it stays it doesn't uh, get into the wrinkles um, it doesn't move a lot I mean it's really a good product so please the time I'm sorry <laughs> so as I said prime the face 
apply corrector. What do you do after? You actually set everything. How do you, oh, well, before setting in this case, as I decided not to bring, also due to space, I decided not to bring uh, powder products with me. Or at least, you know, I decided not to bring like blushes or uh, contours or anything like that. So I decided to bring only creams. For a blush, I said, okay, what can I use as a multi-purpose product? And of course the answer is lipsticks. So I brought with me a couple of lipsticks that I will show you that can act as a blush as well. At least for me. I'm sorry if I kind of go like this with my nose, but I still have a little of, of um, a cold with me. Um, yeah, so basically, if I'm not missing anything, I brought with me these lipsticks over here that act as well as, um, well, any lipstick can do, liquid lipstick, but these are the ones I decided to bring with me that I like and that I have. And uh, this is the one from Etude House, which is a um, pinkish one. This one is one of my favorite go-to, and it's the MAC Smoked Almond. Lovely, as you can see, it's this color over here, and uh, I was wearing it a little bit today, I don't know if it's still on. Um, then this one is kind of reddish, oh, I love this. It's from Nature Republic, and it's number one. Don't ask me for the name. I can try to read it, though, because I kind of read Korean. Let's try, shall we try? So it's... <clears throat> Li, Yong, Le, Te, Te, kind of, so, Li, Yol, Le, Te, anyway, that one, and these two, this is again from Etude House, uh, it's a matte lipstick, you can see the color, and it stays on plus this one is from uh, Victoria's Secret and it is it love or magnetic sorry this one over here just to show you the color it's as you can see it so these ones you put them on the back of your hand with a brush apply there you have you have a blush you have the same lipstick perfect right you have to be smart when you're packing and when you travel, so multi -purpose. Then I decided as well to go for, for contour. I decided to grab just one product and this is the Fenty Beauty Contour Matte Stick. Match sticks in amber. So here you are. Another product, uh, other products that I decided to bring with me are pencils. So actually, like as eyeliner pencils, I brought two and it's the uh, Makeup Forever Total Taupe and the classic Audrey from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a brown, it's a very powdery brown. And this one, it's more taupeish, and I love these two. Basically, this one as an eyeliner and also as a base and this one, again, as a base for the eyes and if I want to go all for a natural look and also as a lip liner. And yeah, so just these two uh, different browns, very minimal. Uh, what else? Um, oh, sorry, I forgot. I actually brought a black as well. I'm not used to it. I have it, just got it recently. This is the Feline from MAC. It's the black eyeliner pencil. So yeah, just in case someone wanted a smoky eye or something. What else? Um, I decided, well, I actually bring these everywhere as um, eyeshadow base. And this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and the Painterly Paint Pot. Why? Because this combo works for me, especially if I want my eyeshadow to stick on my eyelid and don't go anywhere. So I put this, put this on top and it stays all day. Because actually this is like your superpower, right? Everybody knows about this product and it's lovely, perfect and fabulous, but no, I haven't seen anyone using these two together. I've seen people using this alone and people using this other alone, but if this doesn't work for you as it should, especially in high humidity, if you pair these two, they work wonderful and they work miracles as they would say. 
So that's my go-to, especially in humid weather. And especially if your high eyelids are like mine and they're very oily. Try it and let me know. What else? Uh, eyebrows. Eyebrows I decided to bring with me. This pencil over here. This is the Anastasia in Chocolate and this uh, NYX Espresso Brow Gel. Brow Mascara. Okay, that's it. Then, glosses. Glosses also act as highlighters in my makeup case, traveling case. Here it is. This is what I brought this time. I brought the Fenty Beauty, my favorite uh, gloss, Fenty Glow. Then I brought, brought the two Huda Beauty uh, Shameless and Fearless. Then, also this is from Fenty Beauty. I think it was like um, a limited edition uh, of uh, summer. I don't remember if it last year or two years ago anyway. It came in three. This is the, the one that has kind of greenish brownish reflexes. I love it. And plus, this is a Lime Crime uh, Blondie lipstick. And again, it's fabulous as, I mean, I just put like three dots just to show you. One, two, three. There you go. That's the third. And what I do is on the nose as well. There you go. Actually, you should put three dots over here as well, but I'll just go with this. Just to show you, there you go. I mean, you have highlight. Better than that. Plus, you can put it on your lips as well, of course. So, last but not least, mascara. And, of course, a sharpener. And I uh, actually decided to bring this eyeshadow over here, which is a very old MAC eyeshadow. It's Mink, Mink and Sable. I don't think they do it anymore. But just to show you, it's an olive, and I like this as a smoky eye, so I had to bring it with me. And actually, two products that I forgot to mention. The um, Nude Stick. Nude Sticks. Is it Nude Sticks or Nude? Yeah, it's Nude Sticks, sorry. This is the color Toe Fig. If I'm not mistaken, this is fig. Yes, it's fig. And I use this as an eyeshadow base to do especially a smoky eye. I like it. And actually, I used it before the, the olive, the olive eyeshadow here. And it was fabulous. So I recommend if you have something similar. And last but not least, the to set my under eye, basically. This. The... Um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder in Medium of Charlotte Tilbury. So this is, I'm sorry, I have to clean it. But this is what I brought with me on vacation in my makeup beauty bag. I'll see you next time for brushes and skincare. Bye.